Everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5. Today we are in my kitchen <laughs> and I'm sorry for the echo. I have a broken mic so apologize ahead of time. So today we're going to be making my vanilla bean eggnog. It's a twist on a traditional eggnog recipe but I think the vanilla just makes it sing. So here right here, do we're actually put this up right here, is a list of all the ingredients you're going to need. So if you need to pause check it right here. I will also put them down below. And then of course, if you are new here, welcome. I'm going to be vlogging just about every day this month for Vlogmas. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So here is everything you're going to need. You're going to separate your egg yolks from your whites. You only need four of the whites, remember, from the last page. You're going to need six yolks, four whites, your cream, your milk, your sugar, cloves. I have two kinds of vanilla here and nutmeg. Now this... This is the queen of the show, the star. This is amazing. And this is kind of expensive. I think it's about 30 bucks. It lasts a long time and a little bit goes a long way. But guys, this is what's going to make it sing. Let's start off by beating these egg yolks. After the yolks are beaten, slowly add in your sugar until this all becomes light yellow and super fluffy. Then you're going to combine your milk, vanilla powder and cloves and heat over a medium heat until it simmers. Do not let this boil and curdle. Do not. Whisk as it's cooking. Once it reaches a good steamed through heat, you're going to temper with the egg mixture, eventually adding it all in and whisking. Once this is all added in, you're going to return it to the pot and let it heat to about 160 degrees or until it coats the back of the spoon. Once it gets to there, you're going to take it off the heat, add in the heavy cream, add in the nutmeg and the vanilla extract. Don't worry if you have some egg bits, we're going to strain it. Once you get to this point, you are going to put it in a bowl, put some saran wrap up over the top so it doesn't get a film, and refrigerate it. Hi puppies! So I usually let mine chill for a couple hours. Here's my dining room decor, figured I'd show this to you guys. All right. When you're almost done chilling, you're going to want to take about a teaspoon of white sugar and the egg whites and start whipping them until you get stiff peaks. This step is optional. And then you're going to fold them into the mixture. I end up putting them in a tall glass pitcher and I whisk it around a little bit too. This is going to be fluffy. You don't have to add the egg whites, but you can. I add the alcohol separately because my daughter likes to drink it. I you guys. This is seriously so good. Mm. Even my dog's trying to get it. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Even if you're not a big eggnog fan because you've had like store-bought eggnog, you need to give this a try. The vanilla is just, it makes it sing. So my daughter and I are going to finish watching Christmas movies with the puppies. Hi. And that's all, folks. See you tomorrow. Bye. Guys. Bye.